Good morning. Yep, it's Monday again. Deacon Brian, time to pull up a chair and uh, get your coffee. We're finally out of Lent, and now we're into the Easter season. Glory, hallelujah. So, let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb. Fearful, yet overjoyed, they ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on the way and greeted them. They approached him, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled the elders and took counsel. And then they gave them a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story was circulated among the Jews to this present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's Easter season. Whoa. Time to celebrate. So, again, you got to get the whole story here. There, there's, a, there's a few verses before this with, with the two Marys. All right? Again, they, they're heading toward the tomb, and all of a sudden, the earth is shaking. There's an earthquake. And again, what needs to be shaken in your heart? What needs to be shaken so that you can awaken to where God wants that resurrection to manifest in your life? So they come across and, and if shaken, and and, uh, and they get to the tomb, and what they what they remember the angels it says in scripture rolled away the stone. They get there, and the angel says, "Do not be afraid." Well, we don't want to go to fear. So when you go to fear with things that are going on in your life, you're only going to feed the evil one. That's who you're going to feed. You're going to, and he's going to become like an energizer bunny to, to uh, cause chaos in your life. You want to stay focused because what happens is the angel tells them to run back, right, to go tell the disciples, and, that, and they're on the way listening to what they said, and they're just like overwhelmed, they're overjoyed, but they're, but they're like, what's going on here? And then they see Jesus along the way, and they fall prostrate right to him. They want intimacy with him. We have got to yearn that in our hearts. You have got to want that intimacy intimacy in your heart, that desire to know him, to, to, to want that divine embrace in your heart of the resurrected Lord so he can manifest and that light can come into your life in all the areas where there's chaos, in your marriage, and with your kids, the grandkids, at the workplace, wherever it might be. And again, personally, the things you hold on to and it makes you live in your past. Now it's enough and enough of that. Don't be afraid. And that's the first words Jesus says. The angel said it, and now Jesus says that. Can we get it? Don't be afraid. Don't go to fear. Come to him. Prostrate before him. Desire him more intimately this is the easter time this is the time to break loose that we've been discerning and all that transformation we've been working on to grow closer to him now it's time to let the chains go and to open up your hearts to that joy so that can manifest in your life one of the things i like to do and I'm passing this on to you um during the easter season which isn't that long okay a little, little over a month, and again, and again. So um, what, one of the things I like to do, I always like to go back through the book of Acts. 
and read the whole book. It tells you the story of what the early Christians went through. It's the same stuff we're going through. It'll help give you hope. And you'll see what they did, and now it's what we need to do. And help us guide us into a deeper, intimate relationship with Him. And stop focusing on all that fear. Enough is enough of that. Focus on His sacred heart. As I say, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Don't forget, get into Acts and start to read that. Okay? Let that be your mission for the Easter season. See you next Monday.